Hi, my name is Sam Huffman. I'm a part of the financial management class at Northern University, and I've decided to do my five-page essay on Aeropostale. Now, Aeropostale, back in the day when we first started off with it, right, it really started popping off roughly around 2007, and that's when I was kind of in high school-ish, middle school-ish, really starting to see, you know, uh, pattern trends and what people wanted to wear. And so I saw a lot of Aeropostale. It was on everybody. Everybody always wanted to be wearing Aeropostale. It was on the shirts, it was the jeans, it was the shoes, socks, you name it. And the popular people had Aeropostale on. When you look around now, you don't see that much anymore. But that's because Aeropostale's now going bankrupt. On April 21st of this month, they are going to be filing for bankruptcy under the Chapter 11 Bankruptcy Protection Plan. Now, with this being said, obviously you can tell where the rest of this goes. Unfortunately, the business has been failing for quite some time now due to a lot of factors. Like I said early on, they were very successful going forward. When they first started off and they really started to become famous, they had a deal with Fall Out Boy. And that's kind of what really set them apart from everyone else. When Fall Out Boy began to do their concerts and they became big and everyone loved them, wanted to be a part of it, Air Apostle struck a deal with them. And so everything that Fall Out Boy did, Air Apostle also joined in. So a lot of the concerts, Air Apostle was there. A lot of the gigs, Air Apostle was there. And then when you look at a lot of the exclusive merchandise, you had to buy it through Air Apostle, which was a big thing for them, and that did well. And then they also did a lot of work with Haiti, to all the victims out there. They did a lot of work with other charities, uh, homeless people that couldn't afford jeans, and they really got themselves big. And then you kind of look down the line, at some of the other things that they've done. And throughout the years, they've had a lot of legal fees. They've had tons and tons and tons of infringement rights being broken on other patents, which obviously you can't do. So they've had to go to court for those. They've had to deal with that. And then their top merchandising officer ended up not keeping some private information that probably should have been kept uh, a big secret for one of their very high top vendors. So they had a falling out with a big vendor back in 2006. So it really just started going downhill uh, right when they got around 2010, 2011. And then at the end of the day, they didn't look to incorporate the change of the year. So what they had back then was really good and everyone loved it. But now people didn't enjoy it as much because it was getting old. So going forward, you need to definitely change with the times and Aeropostale wasn't able to do that for the rest of the company. From the years going down, starting in 2012, 2013, they were successful, but when you look at the numbers now, there's a very big decrease in what they've gotten in profits as well as revenue. And I just think that it will continue to go down unless they file for bankruptcy, which they are going to do. Thank you for watching.